Hello from BC. We are Davy and Sky. This is our first time exploring British Columbia. We are so excited to be here. So we're from Nova Scotia, east coast of Canada, and to be on the west coast of Canada for the first time is absolutely mind blowing. The mountains here, the views, the ocean. And we were actually here a day ago. We arrived into the Vancouver airport where we then traveled to the water and jumped onto a seaplane. And we were delivered to the doorstep of where we are staying here on the Sunshine Coast of BC via seaplane, which was an insane experience that I cannot yeah, I believe that we just had. So we landed here at Rockwater Secret Cove Resort and yesterday we were actually invited here with Hyundai Canada for the launch of their brand new 2024 Santa Fe. So yesterday they had a jam-packed day planned for us where we got to test drive all of the, the different trim models of the new Santa Fe and we got to do some fun exploring around this area. That all wrapped up last night and we've extended our stay. They've actually lent us a car for a few days and we're gonna go explore on our own see what we can see here in BC we have uh, some hikes that are planned and beautiful weather in store as well arriving at Rockwater you can drive here as well it's about a two and a half three hour drive from Vancouver but arriving by seaplane is a pretty incredible experience we highly recommend so when you arrive they have a beautiful woodland path that kind of winds through the forest and it brings you to all of these really cool treehouse like tent houses so they're just kind of scattered along the coast all within incredible views of the water. Don't mind our mess as you walk in here. A gorgeous bed. We slept like absolute babies last night. There's a big soaker tub. They leave you some bath salts to enjoy as well with robes and slippers. We have a little coffee station with a fridge here as well and kettle. Coming over here, a little table where you can eat a propane stove but on top of that they also have different heaters and floor heating as well we have a shower over here david took a shower earlier and said it was phenomenal bathroom vanity area and a toilet through there and our favorite part is this deck and this view i feel like we've this is definitely one of the top best places we've stayed with like a view like this steps from where we're sleeping like just look at those this mountains. is insane we've been watching eagles there's so many eagles here it's wild so we've just been watching eagles all day and there's also reports of whales nearby so we've been keeping an eye out for whales too we have binoculars with us and be pretty cool How do you like my new Santa Fe 2024? XRT. XRT. So we just drove up through Garden Bay and now we're gonna go hike Pender Hill. It's, I think the area is called Irvine's Landing, but basically there's just a bunch of really cool communities all surrounding Pender Harbor and the view at the top of this hike will overlook all of those like different areas and the harbor itself, so supposed to be the best bang for your buck kind of hike. <laughs> and we have uh, a video that we just put out from the Highlands Hostel and the owners of the Highlands Hostel are from here. Bryson and Patricia! Bryson and Patricia. <laughs> This is incredible. It's just a short 25 minute hike up here. Look at these incredible views. And there's an eagle just right there in the trees. Skylar's getting some pictures of him. Thoughts on your first BC hike? It's beautiful. Holy moly. Like it was about what a kilometer up. Yeah, it's like only 25 minutes to get up here. Yeah. And this we were is, uh, given a gift when we got up here. Oh, An yeah. eagle just like perched there with the most beautiful backdrop. What was this tree thinking? <laughs> like what happened? He, I think he probably started to fall and then he turned himself up, I don't know. We're just exploring the area right now. Just uh, driving through Garden Bay. This is Garden Bay Lake. And 
Tyler's up in the rocks over there taking pictures of the car. <laughs> and it's just, it's so quiet and peaceful. This just feels like a nice summer evening. I know. It's so nice. It's cold. Oh yeah. It's like very refreshing. <laughs> Does a 2K hike. Wow, it is cold water. That's icy. <laughs> Our next stop is a waterfall, Secret Cove Falls. We'll see if we can find it real quick. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at this giant tree. That's insane. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> That's me in height. That was a fun little hike, just under an hour, and uh, yeah, recommend it if you're in the area. Just love walking through that forest, it was beautiful. We kept stopping to just admire all of the moss. All right, let's catch the sunset. We just came down to the dock at Half Moon Bay for sunset, and look, it's, oh, it's so nice. The houses here, look at that one right there. Looks like a castle <laughs> built around it. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. You can't really go wrong with anywheres along the Sunshine Coast for a sunset as long as you get your butt to the water. Um, I just saw this pier on like Google Maps and was like, oh, let's head there. It's time. Um, it's a great spot though. It's gorgeous. It's a really gorgeous spot and just watching the boats come in and go by. Um, we are going to go get dinner now. Bryson and Patricia of the Highlands Hostel actually recommended <laughs> friends of theirs have a restaurant um, in town. So that's what we're going to go check out. Just figured out you could do that. You just pressed a button and it locks. Silly Billy. This is where we're eating tonight. El Segundo. Made it. Just checked out of Rockwater Secret Crew Resort. And first thing we're doing is grabbing coffee at the Gumboot Cafe. Yeah, we're gonna go. Highly some. recommended. Everybody loves this spot, I think. So we're gonna get some coffee and then we're gonna head to the ferry. Um, unfortunately, our time along the Sunshine Coast is kind of short. This whole trip is quite short. So there is so much more to do here. Uh, the Skookumchuk Falls was something, Rapids, that was something that we really wanted to check out yesterday. Um, some incredible, up to 25, um, is it miles per hour, kilometers per hour? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna look that up. Oh, a dog! Um, <laughs> <laughs> but just this incredible set of uh, rapids, and they and it happened only happens twice a day. Twice right? a day, yeah. yeah. So we, we missed it. We just missed it. Like our timing just didn't line up, but that was something we really wanted to do. What else? I there was Smuggler's so. Cove as well that was really recommended. And the Big Tree. The Big Tree Park. Park. Um, yeah, so there's so much more to do here, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but we're gonna hit the road and get the ferry over to more adventures. So just 30 seconds down from the cafe, there's this really nice little walk. This is beautiful. This is Roberts Creek Beach. So we just kind of came down and have our coffee here and we just met a gentleman that's actually from Truro, Nova Scotia. <laughs> He's lovely. Oh my goodness. He said this is his favorite spot along the Sunshine Coast.
we are just taking a drive down Chester Park. There is like a little beach area that you can explore, but it looks like they are filming a, they're filming something. I don't know what they're filming, a movie or a show or a music video or something. So there's <laughs> the whole parking lot is packed. So we're just kind of driving down the road. It's a beautiful area. We are told that Molly's Reach is a popular photo opportunity location. I believe it was the once a fictional restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a real restaurant from a famous show. Um, they're actually filming. They're something actually filming here something in there <laughs> right now as well. So it's, it's a great day for filming. Oh my gosh. Apparently in the Sunshine Coast. Oh, yeah, everywhere as we go, all of the like pretty spots. It's also a Sunday and it's sunny, so yeah, all of the pretty spots are currently filming locations. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Thanks. Thank you. Wow, it was so busy already. Look at all the cars. Holy crap. So we were highly recommended to get a reservation, which we did. Um, it's a 40 minute ferry, so Langdale to Horseshoe Bay. Yeah. And uh, what else? Like we're here an hour early and we're kind of at the back, it seems. <laughs> like there's a lot of cars here already. Holy crap, orca sighting. Just seen two orcas <laughs> over in the distance. No. Super cool. Did we just miss it? They're cut yeah, they just kind of went around. Right there. there. This is nuts. This is an experience in itself. Take a seaplane, take a ferry. Like, <laughs> there's just no negative way of transportation here in BC is what we are discovering. Phenomenal. Oh my gosh. And I can't believe we just saw whales. These roads, they're so small. They are to, small. <laughs> They're like slim. We were gonna hike the Chief today, but it is very, very popular, and it is Sunday, and it's a beautiful day. So the last day of March break as well. Yes. And it's literally the overflow is overflowing. People are getting parking. road rage. Like we're looking for a spot, and there's somebody just beeping at me behind me. So we're just we're gonna do this tomorrow morning. Yeah. So we're we're gonna head up to Squamish. We might go to Whistler. We are gonna figure that out now. Look how spacious the Santa Fe is. <laughs> Making your sandwiches. Perfect. Well, wow. there's <laughs> like a mountain behind you and everything. Did you sanitize our luggage before I'm using it as a... I did not. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go check out Mamquam Falls. Yes. It's another very popular spot. It was actually something that was recommended to us by one of the other creators that was at the um, Hyundai Santa Fe event so i don't know it's a kind of a, one of those off the beaten track ones it's down a fire road there's still really, definitely still a lot of people here but i think it seems like a really great bouldering area there's a lot of people that are like bouldering on the sides of the trail and the sides of the roads like there's big rocks it's pretty cool there is no service here so make sure you download a map where you come because there's quite a few other trails that don't lead to the waterfall. I just want David to take my picture. This beautiful forest. YouTube vlog. Stop it. Man. And here's the view from the top. Well, no, I was, I timed it, so it was a half hour to do the loop, and was, I think it was worth it. The it was, photo it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Like the whole time, 29 minutes to do the loop. See a nice little waterfall. It looks like they're building 
a better viewing platform, so maybe when you visit, it'll be a better spot to, to see it from. All right, we are making another quick stop at this place called Eagle Run Vista Point. Recommended by somebody on the trail that we're going to the waterfall at. This is so nice. It's a beautiful bench. It's like the fancy bench. Yeah, it's in memory of someone. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna make, can you make me a bench? I wanna be a bench when I die. When we die, we're gonna make benches for each other. Except we're never gonna die, so. <laughs> Google says busier than usual. How do they tell that about a park? There must be a track in our phones or something, right? Oh, yeah. So we're in Whistler now, and we're just gonna take a drive around the downtown. There's, yeah, there's a big ski hill right here. We're just a little bit north of Whistler now, and we're stopped at this spot called Green Lake. We're just surrounded by gorgeous mountains. And it's 20 degrees right now, <laughs> but there's snow everywhere. Doesn't make sense. We're heading back into Whistler and I spotted a thrift store. So we're gonna go see if we can get some, or just check it out anyway, but <laughs> we're, we're thinking there might be some fancier, like, like mountaineering equipment and stuff West here, apparel. you know? So we're gonna check it out. It's called, it's called Reuse It. I just spotted it off Center. the highway. Have me it's a Tyler's thrift. Favorite. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna. Oh, such a those? <laughs> Any luck at the thrift store? No. <laughs> Somebody took the suitcase I was looking at. There's nothing sadder than a thrifted, like a thrift loss. <laughs> like those items that you're like, oh no, maybe I'll come back for it later. And then you come back for it later and it's gone. Oh, it's a, hel it's a landing spot. It says helicopter landing when lights are flashing red. What? That's a thing? It's a thing, that's wild. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? All right, that was crazy. Seeing that helicopter land. We're gonna just walk into town, grab a beer in Whistler. I think we're like one of the very, very few people driving this thing around because we, we we're getting a lot of looks. We are drawing attention. When we were getting off the ferry today, there was a guy that <laughs> visually looked at the car, did a double take, and went. <laughs> And then there was funny. there was another couple <laughs> that came out of a store and were like, <laughs> so like this car turns heads in case you were wondering, and it's getting us to all of the adventure spots, and I'm stoked about it, and it fits our lifestyle super well, so I'm pretty happy. This was like such a good, I don't know, I'm just like so happy to be here. This is insane. Look at this freaking ski hill right know, next like to us. <laughs> All right, we are going to head back towards Squamish right now is the goal yeah. and uh, maybe catch sunset along the way. Are you smiling? What are you doing? <laughs> Skylar's always taking people's photos. Everywhere we go. I can't resist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love taking people's photos. So cute. I hate when like the dad has to sacrifice or the mom has to sacrifice being in the family photo. So I'm like, can I take your photo? They're like, Good morning. We have returned to the Chief. We're gonna hike it today. <laughs> it's much less busy yeah. if you come in the morning. There's way more parking available. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm sorry, it looks so nice. It does. With those mountains. Did you get that oh. shot? Did you get that shot? I did get it. So the internet says that to do all three peaks of the Chief, it's gonna take about six hours. And uh, we're not sure what we're gonna do. 
Maybe one, maybe two, maybe all three. This trail is not a walk in the park. Huh. Would you look at that? Beautiful already. Can we like air five steps off the trail? Imagine taking a staircase that's up to like here on you. <laughs> Yeah. Every step. <laughs> That's what it's been like for me because the stairs are like up above my knee. And David's like, these stairs are pretty big, even for me. I'm like, you think? This ridiculous rock that you have to walk under does not feel very safe. I just walked under this. <laughs> Fun. I can't stop turning around and <laughs> looking behind us. It's insane. Wow. Oh, there's Squamish. We stayed right down there last night. This is not. This is not. I'm actually like slightly dizzy up here. Like this is a new height experience i think sensory thing for me because it feels like if you were to like roll i know it's just a drop i think it is just a drop it is just a drop. oh i can't think about that here you go buddy oh thank you oh very peanut buttery <laughs> See our car down there. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. So we're coming back down the first peak and it's been about three hours. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but we also enjoyed lunch and uh, I just split a little bevy and what else did we do? Take a lot of pictures. Took a lot of photos. All right, are we doing the second one? I kind of took a little nap in the sun. I might be sunburned. Yeah, we can do the second one if you want. How should I go about doing it? Like, brace yourself. Hold, like, huh? just. <laughs> I'm gonna let you figure that out. <laughs> I'm gonna just watch. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. What do you mean, brace myself? Like, both arm hands on the chain and, and walk up on the wall. It's slippery. So we were on top of that one. And we were waving at somebody right here. <laughs> wow. That's like exactly where we were sitting. That actually only took a half hour. All the way down, all the way up. Peak two is beautiful. It gives you a really cool perspective looking over to peak one. So peak three is kind of right over there. We've seen a few people start meandering that way. We are, however, just worried about daylight. So we're gonna call it at peak two. But I feel if you do peak one, it's not too much further and if you're up for the challenge of the chains and ladders, definitely come and do peak two as well. Can't speak on peak three because we're not doing it. And so far it's been dog, mostly dog friendly. Oh like my we, gosh. we just seen a dog run past. BC in general, it seems uber dog friendly, which we love. We just wish that our dogs were here with us. <laughs> Oh, that's a man. <laughs> can't imagine what this would probably look like on a busier day with rain. Everyone's probably clinging to these for dear life. In between the first peak and the second peak, there is this ladder. But it says that it's not part of BC Parks and that you do you use this at your own risk. It wasn't on the maps. So we didn't it was not it. on the maps. <laughs> so we would have came down this way. So I'm just going to pop up there and take a look and come back down.
I don't know, man. It might be worth doing it. No. There's more. Is there? Yeah. We did it. Yeah, it was fun running all the way back down. Yeah, that was climb all the way down. So five hours and 15 minutes total. So I suppose if you were doing the third peak, it'd be six hours. With photo and food With breaks. lots of time to stop. Or if you're like not very used to hiking, then it'd probably take you definitely up to six hours. Well worth it. Holy crap. That was fun. That yeah. Was a beautiful Amazing beautiful views. Hike. Skylar did some work this morning and uh, we probably didn't set off on this hike until about 11.30. So it's pretty much our day is spent because it's gonna get dark pretty soon. But we're gonna start heading towards Vancouver, figure out our next steps. Great check-in experience. We are staying at North Vancouver Hotel. Um, super budget friendly based hotel it's right outside of like the city center um, and they have different deals online so we were going to do the Grouse Mountain um, gondola tomorrow but we looked online and it was going to be over like $190 for two of us just to ride like a 10 minute gondola is what we're reading it but everybody also recommended it apparently the Sea to Sky gondola down by um, the chief where we just hiked today is the ultimate gondola to do but we didn't feel like doing it because we just hiked the chief so we still want to get a gondola experience but if you stay here they have these deals on at least right now they do and it's a buy one get one free gondola pass plus you also save five dollars on your first ticket so i think that it's going to be only like 70 bucks or something or 75 dollars for two of us to do it tomorrow that is much better that is much better. And this place has free breakfast, so we were like, okay, cool. Can't complain. Can't complain. Good night. We're tired. All checked in. Let's go. Let's go. We are exploring Vancouver today, except we're kind of like, there's two things I still really want to do that we were supposed to do yesterday, but we took too long hiking, so we're going to do them hopefully before noon today. <laughs> and then go into the city and explore Vancouver. Let's see how it goes. One of the things to do here in Vancouver is visit a suspension bridge. And this is the Lynn Canyon suspension bridge. It's free. The famous one is the Capilano yes. suspension bridge. And everyone says to do that one. And we definitely wish that we could as well. Um, I just think it's too expensive though. free. And yeah, but it's pretty cool. Like I think it's, it's like one of those things that you do once in a lifetime. Yeah, they say it's the biggest in the world, right? The I think world? so, the yeah. longest I want to say. Um, but this one's also cool and they have some hiking trails and some waterfalls and it's open early. It's open at like 6 a.m. So we're here bright and early, whereas the Capilano one doesn't open until a bit later. Um, but yeah, so we're doing checking out Lynn Canyon, but also a lot of people recommended that we explore Lynn Canyon too. The thing with Vancouver is that it's bloody massive and there's a lot of like smaller communities in and around the city that people love and know and a lot of the recommendations that we got were to these here. Yeah. smaller communities. Um, so we're checking, we, we, we only have a day. <laughs> only so much you can do. Alright, let's walk this bridge. It's so bouncy. It's steep as well. We are so high up. I can't remember. I think it's like a hundred and <laughs> something feet or meters. I can't remember. But Capilano is like three or four times that. So now I'm kind of eating my words. I wish that we were going to the Capilano one because I picture this, but four times even higher. Oh my goodness. Again, BC's forests are incredible. Love them. Love them, love them. So there's a waterfall here, it's called Twin Falls. And we just kind of came down the river to see if we could see it from below, but you can't. It has this beautiful, like, green, turquoise sea 
colored yeah. water. It's gorgeous. Or you can see the waterfall from the bridge that crosses over the top of it. Or you're just looking down at it. We have traveled over to Grass Mountain, which is located just outside of Vancouver, and it is a very popular skiing location. It's also a great hiking location. There is the famous Grass Grind Trail, which everybody told us to do. However, it is closed right now for maintenance. So we're going to be taking the gondola up instead. It's called the Sky Ride, and it's an experience in itself. So a lot of people, as we get on, we'll see other skiers and snowboarders. We're going to be sharing the gondola with them, and we go up, and there's like restaurants and the skating rink and stuff up top it's kind of just a sightseeing thing to do it's about 67 70 dollars per person to do this activity however north shore or, or north vancouver tourism has a promo on right now with the accommodation so our accommodation was able to provide us a bogo ticket so we had buy one get one so we ended up paying about 70 dollars for two which is pretty sweet it's pretty amazing to have a deal mm -mm. happy with that thank you Check out the lake and these small walk back. It's a light walk. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it lights up at night. There's a big bonfire area right there that people have out their bonfires. The skating area and then numerous restaurants. And then you kind of keep going and there's chairlifts there and it brings skiers and snowboarders up the mountain more. We got some music playing and there's a bunch of lights strung up. It's probably really nice at nighttime. It seems like a very family friendly spot. Like there is tons of little walking trails and there's this light trail where there's a bunch of lights. So I imagine this is gorgeous at night. There's a pretty family friendly looking zip line and like a tree walk thing, um, skating rink. So it seems, and I think like they have a bunny hill thing and I don't know, it just seems very family friendly, which is nice to see. What's the spot, is it? Yeah. It's a beautiful day for a patio. I love a place that feeds you popcorn. Sunshine and beer on a mountain. I'm confused. What'd you is get? this cider? <laughs> Mine tastes good. Why is there a lime in it? <laughs> this is the Lion's Gate Bridge, and then we'll be going over Stanley Park. Seriously, it goes down a one lane. Be aggressive. Be <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, it's spring here. Wow. That's nuts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cities make me feel claustrophobic. Oh my god. There's so many <laughs> buildings. Oh my gosh. Just drove through the city and made it to Granville Island. Not too bad, driving wasn't too bad. We got lucky, we got a space. This is so cool. So this is Granville Island Market. They have tons of different parking. As you drive in, there's a bunch of buildings, shops and restaurants as well. Um, and it's kind of like a food market. So we're gonna wander around here first and then maybe check out the surrounding area buildings too. We don't really know what to expect, so. There you go. Oh, wow, it's very good. Thank you. That was delicious. You got the wrong here. No, I know. So I just had tiramisu. Oh, those are too big. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Those are big strawberries.
Wow. It's exciting. Look at all the capers in there. So many capers. We're a caper. Just like a pound of tiramisu. <laughs> hold it up. Let me, can I hold it? <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. How about that backdrop? <laughs> we have been craving tiramisu. <laughs> Nine bucks. You look like you own this city. I do. <laughs> This is our first time using Hotwire and they have this like deal thing where you can just like it doesn't tell you what hotel it is and you just pay for it and then you get the email and it tells you what it was. It tells you like you can choose between like what stars. Yeah, so you get to choose like so we I think we picked four. Or? It's like a four star hotel and then they said among our four star hotels in this area, these are some of them. Yeah. So like it definitely kind of tricked us because we for sure thought we were getting like a Hampton or Best Western, I think. Well, we didn't. We, we didn't know. We didn't know. And uh, but it was like dead cheap. It was like fifty percent cheaper than what it would be. So it was yeah. like a hundred and fucking hot wire here. Something. And it, but anyway, turns out that it was in U.S. dollars. So it wasn't like oh, yeah. I forgot <laughs> massive about that savings. <laughs> but we got. We were given the Sandman Hotel. Yeah. Uh, this is like a whole apartment. It's crazy. Well, yeah. <laughs> And then also Skylar Sweet Talk to Daniel at the I front had a desk. Sweet, so. Sweet Talk. I was just like, this is our first time in Vancouver City. I didn't realize when we booked that we like booked a lower one because like through the website you don't have any choice of like what type of room you get. So it automatically assigned us to like a bottom level, and I was just like, is it at all possible to upgrade us for our first time ever in Vancouver City? Yeah. Um, so and he awesome. did. We have full kitchen. A living room, a bedroom, and this really high up, dangerous balcony. So dangerous. So dangerous. We were just right over there. Right over there. That's cool. So they have an outdoor pool, but it's closed for winter. It looks so cool. It's like a rooftop pool. That's awesome. Come back in the summertime. Oh. I like your favorite color again. So Stanley Park is a must-see here in Vancouver and there are multiple places to rent a bike from. That's the best way to see it is what we were told, to do like the seawall and to see it that way. Um, so there's numerous places but a lot of people have suggest and said we should come to Spokes. We got e-bikes because we were nervous that we wouldn't be very quick. Um, and they are $20 an hour. There's also half day or full day rentals too and they provided us with a map and that she kind of like highlighted a few of the must-see spots along the way. Pour some sugar on me. I did not adjust my seat. Oh, it seems pretty low. Do you know the way? Right down there. I'm not even biking in the city and I'm like stressed. Here we go, Stanley Park. On an e-bike. She's pretty fast. First stop is the totem poles in Stanley Park and I actually read that they are the most visited tourist attraction in all of British Columbia. So they're made out of large cedar trees and it's um, like the first coastal first nations here created them and they tell stories and history and yeah. Crazy they're, fact. They're very beautiful. Incredible, what a way to see the park. Definitely recommend it. This is gorgeous.
Is that fun, bro? That's very fun. What'd we do again? This is bad. <laughs> How much you pay for that haircut? 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist just seeing the sign outside. Self-care like, moment. Gotta get a haircut real quick. That was fun. It was a really fun day exploring the city. Yes. Half day. Half day exploring the city. We've gotten a taste for BC and the nature and the scenic beauty and a little bit of the city life and we definitely want to come back. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we've inspired you to not only visit BC but road trip around it and huge thank you to Hyundai Canada for having us out to uh, test drive the brand new Santa Fe. We've loved driving around in that and it's been the perfect- It has been a blast. The perfect adventure vehicle, the perfect quick little trip. Um, I know there's gonna be tons of spots people are gonna comment that we miss, but uh, that'll just have to be for next time. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye. What are you, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Just standing here. Just hanging around. <laughs> Oh, my favorite sunglasses. <laughs> Love those. Oh, my legs are like... I need to stretch. Honestly, it's not that bad! <laughs> Got him! <laughs>